Hello everyone and I welcome you all in the last session of our uh, heat transfer and uh, today we are going to complete heat transfer along with completing heat exchangers. So as I told you this will be in the recorded mode and day after tomorrow your applications domain is going to start. <coughs> and also I have told you that uh, the application domain uh, power plant part we have already covered. So I will be covering IC engines and RAC mainly and we will be finishing it by 25 or 26th of uh, this November. So my side all subjects will be done for you. Okay. Chalo fir, uh, let's start right away from where we left and we have already been familiar to theta LMTD. log mean temperature difference method we have already done and how did we define this? We define log mean temperature difference as the method in which your uh, temperature difference theta is always calculated as theta 1 over ln theta 2 by theta 1 or theta 1 minus theta 2 over ln theta 1 by theta 2. So that is your theta LMTD. Am I clear? That is how we define it. So <coughs> this is what we have. Fantastic, no problem. And in order to get the result, Q is always known as U times A times theta LMTD. Am I right? u times a times theta LMTD. This is what we have here. Now let us just move forward. Let's just move forward and theta LMTD method we have seen and up to now also we have seen that NTU equals to number of transfer units that is known as it is UA over M dot times C minimum, right? It is dimensionless, all right? This is dimensionless quantity and for this NTU represents the overall size, the overall size of the heat exchanger. Am I right? It represents the overall size of the heat exchanger. That is what it is. And next we came down to calculate R, heat capacity ratio, that is C minimum over C large, am I right? C minimum over C large and this is less than equal to 1, less than equal to 0. It lies in the range of less than equal to 1 and less than equal to 0. That is what it lies in the range of, right? No problem, let's move further. Now let us define effectiveness of a heat exchanger. How do we define it? Effectiveness of a heat exchanger represented by upsilon, right? So effectiveness of a heat exchanger, upsilon. So what is upsilon? Upsilon is always defined as the ratio of, it is defined as the ratio of actual heat transfer rate actual heat transfer rate with respect to the maximum possible heat transfer rate transfer rate from the heat exchanger okay so that means upsilon equals to q actual over Q maximum that ratio, right? This is the ratio. And I believe that this upsilon also lies in the range of one, I mean, it is an open interval kind of one and zero, right? Practically it is an open interval, all right? It is an open interval. Now please pay attention that for maximum heat transfer rate, or Q max, 
टेम्परेचर डिफरेंसेस टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस मस्ट बी मैक्सिमम वॉट शुड बी आर टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस हेयर मैक्सिमम इफ यू वॉन्ट मैक्सिमम हीट टू बी ट्रांसफर्ड द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस शुड बी मैक्सिमम एज वेल इफ यू वॉन्ट हीट ट्रांसफर टू बी मिनिमम द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस शुड बी मिनिमम सो इट ऑल बॉइल्स डाउन टू टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस इफ यू हैव हायर हीट ट्रांसफर रेट देन द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस वुड बी हायर इफ देर इज अ लोअर हीट ट्रांसफर रेट देन द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस वुड बी लोअर एज वेल all right so this is how we define it it is as simple as it can be so please take a screenshot of it and then we'll move forward please take a screenshot okay i think you might have the maximum possible heat transfer rate is due to delta t max now please listen to this concept this is very important so what will be delta t max what is the maximum temperature difference highest possible temperature difference is thi and lowest possible temperature is tci so if i subtract lowest from the highest then the temperature difference would be maximum is it clear also the heat storage should be minimum agar store kam hoga if there is less storage it means that there is more transfer if there is less storage there means that means it, there is more transfer right so therefore q max turns out to be m dot into c minimum wala less wala t h i minus t c i see why i have taken m dot c minimum this is total heat storage capacity if this heat storage capacity is higher then it will store more heat if it is lower then it will dissipate heat more right so that is why m dot c minimum into thi minus tci that's what we are doing is it clear concept is clear very good now this is it okay then let's proceed forward so this is your q max and q actual what about q actual q actual can be written as m dot h c h t h i minus t h o or m dot c c c c c t c o minus t c i this is q actual you can write it in any form okay any formula is good no problem so what about epsilon that is q actual upon q maximum now it depends how are we going to select this q, m dot c minimum so there are many cases i mean there are two cases number one case if m dot h c h is lower than m dot c c c if this is lower this is higher then m dot into c minimum would become that would be m dot c minimum will be of course of course it will be what ah uh, it will be m dot h c h why m dot h c h right why this color variety because it is lower simple hence what would you do epsilon you want to calculate you will use here m dot h c h and this this is inevitable this temperature difference has to be taken now in actual what will you take so that this will be cancelled out so take m dot h c h okay take this formula t h i minus t c i sorry t h o so it means that epsilon now becomes epsilon becomes t h i 
टी एच ओ टी सी आई सो दिस एग्जिट टेम्परेचर ऑफ हॉट फ्लूड कैन बी नोन राइट दिस आउटलेट टेम्परेचर ऑफ हॉट फ्लूड कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम हेयर सिंपल लेट्स गो विथ केस नंबर टू इट से इज दैट इफ एम डॉट एच सी एच इज ग्रेटर देन एम डॉट सी 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 राइट दैट इज ग्रेटर देन इन दैट केस दिस इज द मिनिमम वन एम डॉट इन टू सी मिनिमम वुड बी दैट वुड बी एम डॉट सी 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 और राइट हेंस देर फोर वट आर वी गोइंग टू गेट ओपसीलॉन इक्वल्स टू ओवर हेयर in place of m dot c minimum we'll have this m dot c cc t h i minus t c i over here it will be m dot c cc which formula would would you use for because you have two formula you'll use this one t c o minus t c i so this epsilon will be t c o minus t c i over t h i minus t c i logic clear logic clear that is your epsilon so there go your there goes your epsilon epsilon is uh, what's this epsilon epsilon is effectiveness and this effectiveness can be used to calculate the outlet temperature of either cold fluid or hot fluid using these formula you can calculate is it clear so what did i tell you that in effectiveness ntu method only two temperatures will be known and if effectiveness is known is known you can calculate the third one right that is why effectiveness is very important so many a times in problems effectiveness is given if area is to be det determined otherwise effectiveness is calculated based on these formula right is it clear everyone please take a screenshot of it and we'll move forward okay just take a screenshot just simply take a screenshot and then we'll move forward all right dear students good chal now now we can go with effectiveness ntu method for solving for the design of a heat exchanger right so for the design of a heat exchanger let us find out epsilon ntu method effectiveness and tube method for the design of a heat exchanger simple let's see effectiveness is a function of ntu and r that is a fact that is an observational thing and there is a long derivation we do we are not interested in that as you know that so therefore ep i'll tell you what ep is 1 minus e to the power Minus N T U one plus R over one plus R and epsilon C equals to one minus e to the power minus N T U one minus R over one minus R e to the power minus N T U one minus R. So what is this effectiveness of effectiveness? of a parallel flow heat exchanger and this one is effectiveness of a counter flow heat exchanger all right this is it hai na this is pretty much it now what to do epsilon p epsilon c effectiveness of a parallel flow effectiveness of a counter flow so these are the two formula which you are going to get you have to remember them by heart 
okay there's a recent trend which has been uh, developing since quite a few years that the problems are more asked from this region more and more problems are asked from this region rather than being asked from the lmtd method so <coughs> this is it let's see various cases case number 1 special cases you remember so the special cases case number 1 for the heat exchangers involving phase change of the fluids right means one of the fluid is exchange uh, one of the fluid is undergoing phase change right see example what are the examples boilers condensers etc evaporators are also there so hence etc right so now if you see now if you see in these kind of heat exchangers boilers condensers etc <laughs> for the fluid undergoing a phase change if there is a fluid which is undergoing a phase change then the temperature is constant means that the phase is changing at a constant temperature right temperature is constant fixed at fixed temperature the phase is changing it means that it means that m dot into c will tend to infinity we have seen from thermodynamics i have told you that specific heat equals to uh, q by m into delta t so if you do this and delta t tends to 0 c tends to infinity so this one it means that m dot into c large value is infinity therefore r over here will be c minimum upon my c large and this c large is infinity means r is definitely what zero r r heat capacity ratio right if r is zero then see upsilon upsilon p 1 minus upsilon oh sorry 1 minus c e minus ntu over 1 0 0 khatam 1 minus e to the power minus ntu let's talk about upsilon c counter flow so what about counter flow 1 minus e to the power minus ntu and this is 0 simple zero same <coughs> yes or no result is similar to theta lmtd since upsilon p upsilon c it means that for a phase change direction of fluid flow is not important okay what is the direction of fluid flow taking place is not important right we are not concerned as to what the direction of fluid flow is right it can be a parallel flow it can be a counter flow it doesn't matter to us if the only if the only if the flow is taking place in this direction okay only if the flow is such that right is it clear only if the flow is such that understood very simple now let's move for, for, forward further but before that just take a screenshot and the same result we obtained theta lmtd was equal right when we were talking about theta lmtd then in that case theta lmtd was equal am i right so theta lmtd was equal at the time of theta lmtd this time what is equal upsilon means effectiveness is equal okay 
Shall we? Great. Now, case number two. Let us talk about the second case. What does it say? What does the second case say? Yeah, the second case says that, okay, fine. That is okay. No problem. Let us talk about this. Let's have a look. Second case. If m dot h c h, m dot c c c, heat capacity ra ratios are, rates are equal. It means that R becomes 1, then what about upsilon p? 1 minus e to the power minus n t u, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. It will be 1 minus e to the power minus 2 NTU over 2. So that is your upsilon P. Right? That is your upsilon P. For a counter flow heat exchanger. Let's talk about for a counter flow heat exchanger. Upsilon counter flow 1 minus e to the power minus NTU. 1 minus R, let me write down the formula first. R times e to the power minus NTU, 1 minus R. So let's just write it down, 1 minus e to the power minus NTU, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 times e to the power minus NTU, 1 minus 1, okay? So let's try and solve this. Upsilon C will be, this will be 0 because e to the power 0 is 0. 1, 1 minus 1, 0. This all again becomes 0 by 0 form. In LMTD also, for this case, only counter flow heat exchanger was showing 0 by 0 form. Okay? Only counter flow heat exchanger was showing 0 by 0 form. Here, Again, counter flow is the one only who is showing 0 by 0 form. Then what? L hospital rule. What do you do in that? You differentiate numer numerator and denominator by separate, uh, separately, basically. So you differentiate this, differentiate this with respect to R and solve this. After solving, it becomes, you can check for yourself, basic differentiation is there, 1 plus and T. All right, so that is there. Is it clear? So these are the formulations which you have to work with. Let's do a few questions and after that, everything will be over, okay? Let's just do a few questions from the PYQs. And I think a few questions and these questions are very easy. That's why I'm not going to do all of them. You are going to do all of them. You know that these are very easy questions. All right. So from your book, about 27 something questions are there. We'll do 10 to 12. In a, acha. Uh, there is also one thing you should know about, there's an additional information. Let me write it down. Shell and tube type heat exchange. Shell and tube type heat exchangers. So let us talk about shell and tube type heat exchangers. What is all there in these? There's a big shell. These are industrial grade uh, heat exchangers. So what, I, what speciality are they having? So there are some tubes which run like this, okay? These are some of the tubes. These are some of the tubes. These are the tubes, okay? Huh. 
All right. And there's an opening. There's a little opening. See, I'll tell you where the opening is. Okay. So this is the shell. What is it? It is a shell. And what is this? A tube. Right. Tube or tubes, we should say. Tubes. Now what happens? Let's say that there is a cold fluid. There is a hot fluid. Sorry, cold fluid in. cold fluid in okay and from here you have hot fluid in and there is hot fluid out okay so it is flowing like this and in between you'll observe that there are some baffles There are some baffles. What are these known as baffles? Now what do these do? Number one, facilitate the distribution of heat, uh, sorry, fluid over the tubes entirely, all right? entirely over the surface of the tubes. Number two, provide strength. They, what do they do? They provide strength to the tubes. Because otherwise, if they were not there, they would have been bending like this because there's a deflection at play, right? And I need, now I need you guys to take the screenshot. Please take the screenshot. So this was a little bit of t shell and tube type heat exchanger. Okay? Now, before we move further, let me just give you a small context. Note point. Theta LMTD, any heat exchanger equals to F times theta LMTD of a counter flow heat exchanger. What is F? F is a uh, correction factor. Such that the value of F is less than equal to 1. It means it is in between 0 and all right, it is in between 0 and 1. So the value of F is in between 0 and 1. Logic clear? Simple. <coughs> Correction factor. Also, also we know that theta LMTD of a counter flow is greater than theta LMTD of shell and tube greater than theta LMTD of cross flow and is greater than indeed theta LMTD of a parallel flow. Okay, this is how theta LMTD is varying, higher to lowest, highest to lowest. Logic is clear? Samaj gaye? Next, let us move forward. So this is what we have friction factor, uh, sorry, correction factor and all. This you need to remember. 4.1, question number one, PYQs, 4.1. Shell and tube heat exchanger baffles are mainly mixing of fluid, increase the heat surface area, deflect the fluid in desired direction, 
reduce fouling of the surface. C, deflect, uh, deflecting the fluid in the desirable directions. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's just do with 4.3. Okay, 4.3 is IIT Madras 97. What does this question say? Simply says that there is entry of fluid at 76 degrees Celsius and leaves exit at 47 degrees Celsius. Yes. Cold fluid entering at 26 cold fluid entering 26 and leaves at 55 degrees Celsius is it clear okay what is the effectiveness simple yeah upsilon equals to what Upsilon equals to, you do this, THI minus TCI. But you don't know about the M dot C, which is, see, Upsilon is written as Q actual upon M dot into C minimum THI minus TCI. Yes? So about this, we have no information in the question, but we know this. See, heat lost equals heat gained. So if the heat lost, heat gained. M dot into HCH, THI minus THO, M dot into C, CC, TCO minus TCI. M dot into C of the hot fluid, 76 minus 47 equals to M dot into C, 55 minus 26. All right. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. 76 minus 47. 29. 29 M dot C of hot fluid. M dot C of cold fluid is how much? Again 29. It means M dot into C of hot fluid, cold fluid are both same. Now, why I did this? Because if this would have been greater than this would have been minimum. Accordingly, I have said the, but since it is equal, then there is no problem. You can calculate it by any means, THI minus THO over THI minus TCI. You can do it and solve it. Whatever be the answer, just calculate it. Okay? So this is the concept which you should have been used. You should have used, right? Next question, but before that, take a screenshot. LMTD is there, log mean temperature difference. See, these are very easy questions now. And I want you guys to practice these questions. And if there is any doubt coming, I don't think so that there will be any doubt. Because they are simply formula based. Wherever theta LMTD is asked, just go with theta LMTD. Wherever upsilon NTU is asked, I have told you the formula, just go with that. Right? So in the end, I would like to say that you need to practice these questions. Just try these questions out. Okay? And if you are not able to solve them, here is my contact number. Send them to me over WhatsApp. I will give you the solution or the hint at least. Or a day after tomorrow, we are starting our new subject. So on that day, just tell me which questions are you facing doubts in. I'll take them and then I'll start, okay? But I want you guys to practice them first because when you'll practice them, you'll get to know about the topic and you'll solve them accordingly, right? These are very easy questions. Trust me, you will score maximum marks. But before that, solve them 
And day after tomorrow, when we are going to start with our RAC, then you will be, you know, observing these, seeing these, and able to do this. Okay? So I want you guys to practice them first because practicing, practicing them is the key. Okay? So this is it for heat transfer. I hope it is clear to everyone. Uh, yeah, I know that uh, <laughs> there is <laughs> free convection notes are pending. I'll give them to you. Don't worry. Very soon I'll give them. I was not getting any time. As you can see that the health is also not good. It is down. So really sorry about that. But pretty soon I'm going to give it to you. Okay? Just have faith. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care. Jai Hind. See you guys in the next subject. Please share this playlist to everybody. And 40 lectures, approximately 40 plus hours. This is the duration which you get in your uh, what course? In your uh, paid course, right? In many institutes, in almost all the institutes except Gate Academy. So more than 40 hours we have invested here. So it means a lot. Okay, chalo, bye bye. Take care, Jahin. Love you all. See you guys in the next lecture in the next subject. And if you want it live, you have to be live. Remember that.